Hello, friends. This is uh, Pastor Larry, the Shepherd Warrior, and I was uh, thinking about what the Lord was saying in Matthew chapter 24, and I want to I want to let you folks know that you got to be careful about who you listen to in these last days because Jesus gives us very specific warnings. He says in Matthew chapter 24, verse 4, Take heed that no man deceive you. Okay, and then you go down to verse 11. He warns us and says, Many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And there in verse 24, he says, For false Christs and false prophets shall show great signs and wonders, if possible, to deceive the very elect. Okay, so Jesus gives us multiple warnings in Matthew chapter 24, not to be deceived. Because, and even the Apostle Paul, in his writing to the Thessalonica, Thessalonica church, in 2 Thessalonians 2 and 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. What day? The coming of the Lord. That day shall not come. Except there come first a falling away. That's the apostasy. The falling away is Christians uh, backsliding, basically. And the man of sin, the son of perdition, is revealed. That's the Antichrist. So don't, no man, no, no person who claims to be a, a prophet of Christ or a follower of Christ that says that the coming of the Lord will take place before the man of sin is revealed and the apostasy takes place. Don't listen to those folks, all right? And so Paul also writes to Timothy from his jail cell in uh, 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verse 1. He says, he starts out, in the last days, perilous times shall come. And then he gives a litany, uh, a list of all the immorality that will be uh, practiced by men and women in the last days. And you just pick up the evening newspaper and you can, you can see it's happening all around us, okay? And uh, he says, jumps down to verse 13. He says, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. These, these evil men and seducers are imposters, imposters or wizards, people who cast spells, people who give uh, enchantments, and hypnotize you and propagandize you and, and convince you of a lie that it's the truth. So even in Christendom, there's these imposters are going to show up and they're going to uh, have dreams and they're going to have signs and they're going to have wonders. And they're going to say, oh, the, look over here or look over there. But what you need to do is you need to study your Bible. OK, you need to make sure you've obeyed the apostles doctrine found in the book of Acts. The book of Acts is the history of the early church and everything we believe and everything that we teach and everything that we practice should be predicated upon the apostles doctrine as they taught it in the book of Acts. It's essential that you you learn what has been taught because everything in the epistles back up what was taught in the book of Acts. All right. It's Pastor Larry, the Shepherd Warrior. God bless you. See you on the next one.